This is probably the easiest way you can create large language model applications within a couple of seconds. Introducing Anchoring AI, an open source no code tool for developers as well as for teams to collaborate on building, evaluating, and hosting applications that are leveraging GPT and other large language models. You could easily build and share large language model powered apps, manage your budget, run batch jobs, and so much more. We thought that DeFi was easy to use, but in this case, it's so much more like efficient and effective for you to create these large language model apps. It's quite under the radar and it's something that you can access today for free. Just take a look at this example where I used the multi-agent software development team application that was created with Anchoring AI. In this case, I gave it the requirement to create me a random prototype of a software application that is fully functional. And what this application does of Anchoring AI is that it focuses on creating the product specifications and which it focuses on the steps that will be needed to create this app focuses on the work breakdown, it creates the database design that will be needed for this app, it then has the API documentation as to which APIs will be needed to have this app function, and it also creates the code, a fully functional code, backend as well as frontend. This is quite remarkable and it's something that's quite intricate. Now this is just one example as to what you can do with Anchoring AI. If you go on their homepage, there's various different applications that people were able to create with not just GPT 3.5, with GPT 3.4, but with many others. There's different large language models in which you can incorporate with Anchoring AI. Maybe not with the cloud version, but you're able to install it locally in which you can access various different plugins, various different APIs in which you're able to customize it and have that flexibility to add more features and capabilities to Anchoring AI's ability to create large language model applications. Now, this is something that we're going to explore throughout today's video as we showcase how you can create LM based applications within a couple of seconds with Anchoring AI. So definitely stay tuned. And with that thought, let's get straight to it. The private discord has been growing on the daily. If you're interested on this, definitely take a look at this because there is definitely a lot of value and there's a lot of people on it that really, really love it. So if you want to access like paid subscription tools for free, get daily AI news and so much more, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe when it comes. Up. Sorry about that, but turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. With that thought, let's get right back into the video. If you guys would like to book a one on one with me, you can definitely do so with the link in the description below where I can help you with consulting, strategic planning as well as fulfilling your AI needs. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what anchoring AI is truly about. Now, this is an amazing way for you to create large language model applications within a couple of seconds, and they provide a lot of amazing features. We can see that there's a no code interface, and we saw that at the start, it's super easy to build. You simply just click on build and you're able to start off by building your own application or you can start off building with an AI, which is something that we'll take a look at later on in the video. You have a modular design, which lets you easily add your own models, data sets, and extensions. This gives you the flexibility to customize your apps with your own preference, and it allows you to implement different plugins in large language models, which is super convenient for you. You're able to use the drag and drop feature, which chains components to powerful apps. This is somewhat similar to what Flowwise is able to do. I'm quite surprised this is something that a lot of people don't know about. It's something that's in, like fairly old too. So it's quite surprised. Hopefully this brings a lot of spotlight on this. You have easy sharing, which streamlines the collaboration in as well as sharing. Secure access, which secures whatever knowledge or data is stored within these applications. The lang chain integration, as well as the optimized caching, which reduces the cost and it boosts the overall performance. These are just some of the little different features and capabilities that anchoring AI is able to do. There's so many others in the grand scale of this application and it's something that we'll definitely take a look at throughout today's video. On their documentation, there is a lot of helpful tutorials as well as different docs that will help you understand what you can do with anchoring AI. So I'll leave this link in the description below as well as the other links so that you can easily access it. 
but in this case you're able to explore different things that you can do with anchoring ai gives you a demonstration as to how you can run the apps how you can build them how you can share them as well as run batch jobs which is basically the ability to run multiple different agents on a single workflow or operation you're able to upload your data create batch jobs and manage them they have a good overview on all these different things as well as how you can incorporate different large language models data and plugins so if you're interested in this definitely take a look at this so you can definitely get a better idea so how can you actually start playing with anchoring ai well as we talked about at the start you can definitely do so with the cloud version but the best method is installing it through docker it's fairly easy you'll need to have docker installed uh, you just need to follow through with instructions fairly easy by cloning the repository getting into directory installing the image and then running docker composer as well as uh, the container sorry once you have composed it you'll be able to host it on your local host and you're able to tear it down with the following commands but if you're going to be installing it with another method you can follow through with the installation process that they have on the github repo now the best way is obviously docker so definitely check out the docker implementation but in this case we're just gonna take a look at the cloud version you'll need to create your own account once you have created it you're going to be able to start creating different large language model applications as well as accessing the ones that are on the home page you can just go to your application tab where you will have the list of all your different applications over here whether that's from other people or the ones that you have created you have a data section which you can upload data uh, these are uploaded files from other people i believe but you're able to upload your own and you're going to be able to access it now i'm going to showcase how you can actually create your own application it's fairly easy you can build it from scratch or you can use ai to help create applications we're going to just showcase how you can create on your own first and then we'll move on to the next option this is your basic ui where you're going to be creating your app you can name it to whatever you want so in this case if you want to create a software uh, development app you can name it as that set an input text in this case you can have it so that the user has an input like in this case you can create software software prototypes with this app and then you can select the model which will give the prompt or you can have it so that create software prototypes that with random prompts or you can just set whatever prompt that you want that will be sent to the open ai model you can configure this further by inserting your own data which we will showcase later on but you're able to choose which model that you want to play with as well as the temperature and other specifications for the model generation uh, you can select the new turbo gpt4 model which will give you a larger context and better generation which is awesome but in this case you can only use open ai models right now you can also use Anthropic, but it's best to use OpenAI for the cloud version. But if you're going to be using the local hosted version, you can input your own model so that that way you're able to get create large language model applications with your own language model, local language model. Now, you can set your Anthropic model over here if you want to use this. But in other cases, if you want to insert your data, you can have a text input, a batch input, which you can select multiple different files, as well as outputs where you want the file or extraction to be uh, going or delivering. You're able to also incorporate different plugins, a DAG parser, you have Google search, which will help you with searching the web with daily or not daily, but like most accurate and most uh, up to date information you have a doc search as well as the youtube's transcript these are just some of the like, different plugins that you can access most cases you can create the best uh, software development app or application in general with the open ai model alone which will be very very useful and it's something that is super easy and super easy to actually configure so definitely play around with this and we'll now showcase the next step where you can build with an ai where you just need to give it a simple instruction here over here and it'll create this application for you so i'm gonna take some time to create a quite like detailed instruction for creating my own software development prototype app so i have went along and i created my software development prototype generator in this case you're able to specify it further by giving it app specifications which you can have it so that you can enter a text which will basically create a certain type of app you have the prototype generator which is a prompt that i gave to open ai you are tasked to create a software development prototype application this application should generate detailed and intricate software apps with specifications code etc 
it should be ready for deployment immediately. Here are the specifica specifications provided, which is the app specification over here. Please generate the necessary code and deployment process. So it will take whatever uh, specification that is inputted, it will put it into this prompt, uh, like insert prompt to the open AI model, and it will then generate it. You're able to get the code extractor, which is gonna parse the code for it, as well as the deployment steps extractor. This will then deploy this ex uh, execution once you run the app. So in this case, I'm gonna save this. And once I have this saved, I can then go to my applications. I can run my generator over here. Now you can see I already have my generator already ready. Uh, if I go onto this, I can enter uh, create me uh, random software development prototype and i'm gonna just click run and it's gonna help create this application for me within a couple of minutes so once it has finished doing this i'll be right back and just like that it was able to create a random prototype for a weather conditioning app and a five day forecast for a given location. And it gives you the code for it and it's super useful. It uses an API for open weather app map and it will then be implemented and downloaded through the app store. This is something that codes it for you, generates the plan and goes forward in creating this prototype within a couple of seconds. This is something that you can do. Obviously, this is not as intricate as what other people have built, but this is something that is quite useful in developing. So definitely check this out if you're interested. I'll leave all the links in the description below, but I hope you found this video to be quite helpful, guys. Thank you guys so much for your help as well as your attention whenever you're watching these videos. Videos, Sorry, it really, really means a lot to me. Definitely check out the calendar page if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me. If you want to join our private Discord, check out the Patreon page, follow World Way Out on Twitter, and subscribe, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.